15-year history of this World Championship, he's been in the final 10 times, and of course, he's won it on five occasions. In the first round, he beat Pascal 3-1, and along the way, of course, picked up that official warning for offensive gestures. His opponent, Bob Anderson, well, his big year was 1988 when he won this title and was also the dominant figure in the game. He topped the world rankings. Since then, well, he's had some successes. He's had one or two failures as well, but he's in the second round thanks to that 3-1 win over Scott Coleman. Well, perhaps not surprisingly, both players started rather nervously, rather tentatively, but it was Bob Anderson who took the opening set by three legs to two. We're going to join it in the second. Second leg, Bob Anderson has just taken the first with a 101 checkout, and the commentator this time is Sid Waddell. Second leg, Eric to Coleman. Game on. Eric has not been playing well in recent months. He, uh... 140! I wouldn't say he's a spent force, but uh, in his pump, which might come back, he was the greatest that had ever walked. 100! Now, highly self-critical. Not always arrogant, Eric. He says, I'll admit when I play bad, and I'll admit when I play good. Fifty-five. One hundred. One hundred. But I like this boy, Eric. Sixty. If you listen to Eric Spans, there's not that same swagger and braggadocio about their voices that they used to be when Eric was 60. sweeping all before him. Eric is now 106. A bit of hope in their voices. Just below. Treble 18, to, would have left double 16. 58. But Eric will be back to the hockey. Forty-one. Eric requires forty-eight. Sixteen and double. Double sixteen. Pulled it. Double eight. Forty. A hesitation there. Eric requires one hundred and four. It's not Eric. Looking at two sixties there. Sixty. And it requires eight. Double four. Yeah. He's willing himself with great effort. And struggling is not the word, but Eric. Isn't it top gear? Yeah. Roaring at the Raptors and planting them where he wants them. Yes. Oh, hit the barrel. He 
is on the sixth start of a possible 180 series and can still last. himself up there thinking about the maximum. Bob's on a possible three dive finish. One hundred. Bob requires one hundred and sixty one. But that ninety six pressurizes Anderson to get these with a three. One hundred and thirty seven pressures return. Great stuff. Bob returned the compliment. Pressure on Eric now to get 60. Double eight he wants. Again! Again. The slight hesitation. Public line 24. Like a golfer not following through. And a batsman not going through the ball. Double 12 he wants. Yes. Eric got a chance there. Now, Anderson. One set up and two legs to one up. Open. Aim on. Eric Python then to save. The second set, having lost the first one. 81. Anderson is showing more precision and control in more varied positions on the board. Eric has pulled two or three shots at double eight. Do the grimaces and the flourishes to the crowd and lose concentration. I watch these two play over the years and they don't. The expressions and the emotional show is all part of their makeup. Bristow fighting to save the second set. Go here, 15 million. Yes, he wants tops. Oh, again, that hesitation. The pull. Public line 72. Trouble 12, double 18, Mavi. He wants another 16. He wants tops. 32. Rush that. And it requires 20. Double ten to save the set. Double five. On the wire. Doesn't like the lie. We'll go at the lower end of the bed. Unlucky. Bobby Blind. Four. Got two sets to nil. 
Anderson wants top of the shop. Right bang in the middle. Anderson leads two sets to nil. Game on. So Bristol, five times champion. 121. Fighting to save the match. Fanderson takes this set. Eric's out. So. 60. I said earlier, Bristol not in good form over the season, and the stats show it. 79.18. Anderson 87.36 each time to the board. So that's reflecting Anderson's dominance. He's more. Accurate on more of the shots you need in the highest bracket. He's been playing this game since the age of 17 One. at the highest level with the top lads. And uh, for what we've seen here up and out, although he's been receiving punishment, he still enjoys it as much as he ever did when he was a kid. Ninety-nine. Bob, a former javelin international athlete as a schoolboy. Scaled down the missile, but didn't scale down the talent. 60. Eric requires 100. To start the fight back. 60 for tops. This one for tops. So it's uh, had his ups and downs, which you'll remember graphically in this tournament. He's been twice knocked out in the first round. And uh, people have said he's down and out. 100! But he's made more comebacks than status quo, I reckon. Just take it as near the board as you can, so the angle is twisted. 76. Twisted, sort of, get the, the front foot level with the hockey. 100. Well, repositions. 140. Anderson's mood has changed dramatically. Like Lee Van Cleef on a bad night, and now looks like the Laughing Cavalier as he swoops back after a good shot. Either 25 or treble 15. 40. Double 16 once. 29. He'll be back. No shot for Eric.
99. Bob McGuire, 32. Under a bit of pressure. Arizona two daughter, double sixteen. Double eight. Danger on the second leg. Bob Anderson. That makes it one Third one. And two, no third. Game on. Remember Eric's got to take this set. Or else he's out. Christo picks just the moment to get his third maximum. Cop some of that, says the scowling cavalier. in the howls of the Bristol Hordes here. I can feel his juices running. 135. Bristol poised for a possible 11 daughter. Requires 46. 14 for double 16. Double 16. Marker. 30 score. Bob, not pressure in the finish. 16. And it requires 16. Double eight to go ahead in a set. He's got to get this set, so this leg will be very useful. One left for double eight. No score. Three on the wire. Incredulous. Bob requires 120. 60. He's still got a chance. He wants the 60. Overcompensates, he wants double four. Well done. Six darts in a double, Eric. Bob requires 32. Had a chance to save his bacon. Burnt the bacon. Double 16. And the third leg. And Anderson. it puts Anderson one leg possibly away from the match. Fourth leg, Bob Driver. Came on. Bristol had eight darts at a double to save us to save the set uh, to, to get back on a set saving streak, but he let Anderson in. Sixty. And now he's in deep bother. If Anderson takes this leg, Anderson through. He's blocking the bed. One hundred. Squeeze that one in. Might and men, Brister. Sixty. And who knows what could happen if he can get a turn forty here. Oh, better. Magic stop by Brister. 
well. A start to the double blows it. Now he's poised on an 11 dart leg that he desperately needs. Nod. Eric knows that that was a brilliant move by Anderson. Anderson on the one daughter, but Eric could save the match for the moment with two. He wants 12, has to get the ball. Pulls it. 33. Will Eric put his glass away? 24. Will he put them in his pocket? He won't look. Double 12 in! Bob takes Bob off Anderson. like a Catherine wheel as Eric looked away. I think he felt it. I think he knew it. Bob Anderson, number eight seed, is not allowing himself a grin until now. Bristow did not play well, but he did not try and get in at the end. Anderson wins. Many congratulations, Bob. That was a big one for you to win. But at the beginning, you both looked, I thought, awfully tense. Terrified, I think, is the right word. Um, we were actually practicing together on, on separate boards, but side by side, for an hour or so before we went out on stage. And uh, every so often, I cast a glance over to what Eric was doing, and I'm sure he was doing the same. And we were both hitting 60s monotonously. Um, so I started throwing at the fives and the ones just to put him off a little bit. <laughs> no, to, to be honest, we, we, we just went out there to try and play our best, but we were both pretty fine of each other, I think, which happens a lot in sport when, when you have a head-to-head -head situation, when you both know each other's track records, you know, you've played each other so many times, you, you know each other's game inside out, really. I know what Eric's capable of, and I'm sure he knows, well, he certainly does now, what I'm capable of. Um, so therefore, you're probably a little bit too tense mm. at the beginning. But once we got into rhythm, it wasn't too bad. On paper, it looks a very clear-cut win for you, obviously. Oh. It wasn't quite that straightforward, was it? No, look at the <laughs> perspiration. <laughs> no, it was a very tough game. Um, I said to Eric uh, at the end, uh, I thought you played great, which, which I did. I really did think he, he threw some magnificent dives, a lot of 180s, um, and very fluently. And that makes it tough um, when you're playing Eric because you're looking for him to, to stumble a little bit. But he doesn't at the moment. I think that's tremendous. A credit to the man, really. He's had the worst possible thing that can happen to a dart player. Dartitis. And he had it terribly, I promise you. And the man is big enough and strong enough to have fought it off and come back to play like that in an embassy world championship. That is tremendous. Uh, and I'm full of admiration. I'm very glad I'm in the next round, I promise you. Uh, but uh, w what a performer he is. Mm. The old lucky shirt does it again. You pointed <laughs> it out yourself after the first round. Uh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. And then you told me earlier today you're not superstitious. No, not at all. No. <laughs> but the shirt's on again for the next round. <laughs> no, I think, I think possibly it'll, um, it'll be certainly going to the dry cleaners tomorrow. Um, and if it comes back in time, then I'll wear it on Wednesday. But if it doesn't, then uh, we'll be wearing the Undertaker's black. <laughs> I can't believe that. I can't believe that. I lost it again. Honest. Uh, I don't mind losing. If I play bad, I don't mind losing. I mean, that first set was mine now. It was 2 1 up. I had two darts to win 3 1. I had two darts to win 3 2. I mean, I've been practicing all over Christmas. And I come in and do that. And I mean, it's. You were scoring heavily, but you just couldn't check out. Sick. Couldn't hit the doubles, could you? Sick. I mean, I'm upset. Very upset. I don't mind. If Bob would have come out there and blew me away, I would have said, well done. But, I mean, Bob, Bob wasn't playing well at all. I mean, I should have, I should have put him away. I mean, I, mean, I think it was 3-2, three, 3-1, three, one, three, one. I mean, one of the legs I lost near the end. I mean, I, I think I had about eight or ten darts for a double. Mm. And then followed it with back-to-back -back 180s, which summed yeah. up your night, really, didn't it? Stupid. Right. How, where do you go from here? I don't, I've got, well, I'm not really going to I'll, I'll just stay and watch, uh, stay and watch Phil. Uh, I'm going to watch Phil. Phil's going to win this. There's, there's only one way, really. I mean, but, uh, it should have been me and him in the final. I mean, the, the top half's open now. I mean, the top half's, I mean, it could be any bloody person in the final, the top half. I mean, there's only one way, uh, this tournament's going to be Phil Taylor. 
The only one who could have stopped him in the fire was me. And uh, that's not the old Bristol Bravado talking, Eric. You, you firmly believe that? Oh, seriously. I'm, mm. Hey, there's only, there's only one winner of this tournament now. It's Phil Taylor. The only one who could have beat him in the fire was me. And I'm out now. That's it. Priest has been the best player for the last uh, six, seven months, and he he got hurt tonight, didn't he? Uh, but I mean, there's no, there's no one in the touch, Phil. Yeah, that's it. End of story. And I mean, it's it's a shame. It's messed the tournament up. It would have been bloody better with me, me and him in the final. I wanted to, wanted to get hold of him and rattle him a bit. And I can't do it now. I've got to sit and watch, you know, and it's upset me. I'll, I'll play four hours a day, every day, all over Christmas, me and Taylor. Been practice, practice, practice. And all the doubles we've been going for and everything else. You wouldn't believe it, would you? Watching that. How the hell did you lose him doing that? Can't believe it. I'd have beat him when I was... Six. Set by three legs to one. We're going to join it in the second. And